Former board member of the National Communications Authority, NCA, Dr. Nana Osu Nsiao, has denied any involvement in the payment of monies to his former colleagues in the supposed fraudulent $6 million contract between the NCA and Infralux Development Limited. Now, Nana Osu made the denial when he was led in evidence to testify in court today. Here's a report by Godfrey Tanam. The former board member of the National Communication Authority, NCA, who doubled as the then chairman of the Finance Committee, has been charged with conspiracy to steal and money laundering. He denied any involvement in the sharing of an amount of $4 million among his colleague board members. Dr. Nano Wusu Ensau said somewhere in 2016 he arrived in the country and realized that an amount of $4 million had been transferred from NCA's account. He said he inquired from the former board chair Eugene Bafuboni, who told him it was a national security issue, so it should be left with him to handle. He described as not adding up the amount that is said to have been distributed among his colleagues. He said when he questioned the former board chair Eugene Bafuboni, he appeared confused and could not confirm his claim that he, Dr. Wusu Ensau, was one of the beneficiaries of the said amount. He said from his own company account, he had continuously since 2014 to 2016 redrawn money between 2 and 10 million cities through his private business transactions. According to him, some $300,000 in his accounts came from his savings and also changing cities into dollars. The former NCA officials are accused of redrawing $4 million from the accounts of the NCA. They include the former chairman, Eugene Bafuboni, the chief executive officer, William TV, a former deputy national security coordinator, Lahaji Osman, a former board member, Dr. Nana Owusu Ensau, as well as a private businessman, George Opon of Infralox Development Limited. The officials had contracted an Israeli company, so Group Technology Limited, to supply listening equipment at a cost of $6 million to enable national security monitor conversations of persons suspected to be engaged in terror activities. Godfrey Tanam, TV3 News, Accra.